I mean, this is going to sound a little silly considering you're coming off of, you know, directing somebody to an Academy Award, but what's it like as a filmmaker, as a creator, as a storyteller to be given, like, all the best toys in the sandbox to make a film? You got Tom Hanks, Paul Giamatti, Emma Thompson, Colin Farrell. What was that like as a storyteller for you? Uh, I, oh, boy. I've pinched myself so many times I'm bruised up and down my arms. It's, <laughs> every day was just <clears throat> Christmas. Um, not only... <clears throat> in uh, you know, in casting the movie and, and getting everyone to say yes, but then also in the making of the movie and mm. just sometimes you forget your director. You're just watching <laughs> Emma and Tom. You're just a, a, you know a fan of the work. And you go, yeah, that's right. I guess we should move on. I would just I could stay here all day and watch him act. Now, one of the the, the first things that just hit me was I was watching the film, which I loved, by the way. Yeah. And, and we realized that we're jumping back and forth between two different time periods. Mm -hmm. The thought that crossed my mind was. This could very easily get bogged down in one time period or another, or it could feel like we're jarring cuts, we're jumping at inopportune moments. But you find, found a way to have this perfect balance and perfect segues of moving between the time periods that it just felt like one flowing narrative. What was the key for you as a director to make that flow so easy and so natural? Well, I, I think first you, you, you try to do your best to recognize why they need to to come together at these certain places and understand kind of thematically and plot-wise what's being added to the stew so that hopefully when you put these, these 1906 and 1961 together that one plus one begins to equal three mm. and, 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 and informing the story that's happened in 1961. Also I think you look for hopefully visual totems, uh, things that one of the things that I thought of was that um, be nice to um, to have um, framing devices, and what I mean, I mean literal framing devices like a door or a window, because those always kind of say storybook to me. Mm -hmm. And there's something about her her memories of her past that are that are idealized and stylized because it's been a long time ago, and that's what we tend to do with our memories. Um, so yeah, just the, the visually trying to to use those doors and windows to flow through because we're playing with time a lot in this. Uh, one of the things, I don't know how you do it as a director, but I, I, you, you directed Colin Farrell to, I think, my favorite performance he's ever given. When you look at his character and, and character Pamela, they're, they're both such huge dichotomies within themselves. On one hand, Robert is the best father you can ever imagine, but so deeply flawed as a man. Pamela's so strong and arrogant and rude, but so broken and so soft at the same time. How do you, as a director, bring out those performances where they just seem like, the, they don't seem like two separate characters and doesn't seem jarring, they seem like the same person, but just with these vast differences within themselves? I think, I think you, just, you, you try to recognize that in human beings, we're, we're a lot of things, you know? Mm -hmm. we, we, are a, we are never one thing. And I think in, sometimes in movies, you tend to go to an archetype or, you know, or, or, or what you think it should be and just stay right there. When you've got now, uh, actors as talented as Emma and Colin and the entire cast actually, then um, you wanna, you wanna present a, a playground for them to go to and the discussions you have about the turns, the twist. I mean, the fact that you see a man in, um, in Travers Goff who is, is such an Irish poet and has this charismatic confidence, but also just the fear of a child in his eyes at times. Mm. And the, same, and the same with PL. I mean, she's girded for war when it comes to Disney and the Shermans and Degrati, but when she's with Paul Giamatti, uh, Ralph, her driver in the car, and we're just silent with her, we see that little girl in her eyes. So just, you know, presenting an opportunity for them to really go to those places because you get, you get, you get wonderful stuff that allows you to really create, hopefully, a, a very full and real character. Listen, congratulations on the film. It's beautifully told, beautifully directed. We can't wait to have it on AMC screens. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.